In this video, we're going to look at the Origin 100i series. There are three ships. They are all small guys that basically look roughly like this. And they are uh, nice. They're pleasant to fly. They get you around well. Uh, they're not the fanciest ships. They all have the same stock weapon loadout, two size two gimbaled weapons. They all have one size one shield. They come with different stock shields, but you could easily swap them out to make them be anything else. Having only one shield generator is kind of a bummer, especially since it's so small. It kind of puts you in the lower echelon of defenses. Well, yes, the lowest. Specifically the lowest. The 100i itself is a starter ship, and it's basically a fancy Aurora MR. Considering that it lets you hold a little bit of cargo, deliver boxes, and do the barest of minimums in terms of fighting. If you like the aesthetic more than the Aurora MR, then it's really that's really only the deciding factor if you're counting, if you're trying to figure out which uh, starter ship that you want to buy. They both have beds, two missiles, couple missiles. Anyway, you get it. It's a starter ship. It flies, it runs, it gets you point A to point B, and it lets you do the basic versions of a lot of different kinds of jobs. Nothing really that exciting. So let's look at the other models now. The Origin 125A is the combat variant. And it comes stock with a the same size shield generator, but a slightly better one than the 100. Uh, it also has a second missile rack with four more missiles on it. So you have six missiles in your starting package instead of just two. Also, the color is nicer. It, you know, I mean, that's opinion, but come on, look at this. Look at this. What a nice color. What a nice, oh, also, by the way, all of these things open on your 100 eyes, and apparently you don't have a QT drive. They all have a QT drive, and they have the same QT drive. But in that little case, there's nothing. Nothing. Virtually an identical interior. Um, not virtually. It, it, it is identical. I didn't mean virtually. This is really the ship you want to get. I mean, honestly, it would probably... Not probably. It would be a better starting ship than just the base 100i. Uh, because it comes standard with a few extra goodies that you then wouldn't have to upgrade in-game yourself. Like the second missile rack or the uh, upgraded shield generator. It still probably isn't going to hold up at all in a PvP fight or even a very long encounter, but if you're just going to farm one small bounty at a time, you're going to be fine. Fine. Just fine. So now let's look at the last one. The Origin 135C. In this exciting blue color is the Exploration Ship. Again, it has identical stock weapons and has the same two missiles that the 100 has but slightly better shields than the 100 but again they are all capable to be upgraded to the same thing in game because they have the same size shield generation shield generator slot hard point they're called hard points in this game which is weird but whatever um it has the same quantum drive um but allegedly has an upgraded scanner which will mean a hell of a lot more when advanced scanning is a feature in the game. Right now, it's basically just a blue 100i, which isn't bad. Blue is a great color. And that, of course, again, makes it a nice starter ship that allows you to do a variety of things. Oh, also, this one has more cargo in it. It has a cargo hold of six and not two. Um. That's not really enough cargo to make any profit or make profit quick enough to be interesting. Um, but it is enough to learn how to trade, you know, buy and sell cargo. Oh, see, this thing says SCU 4. Urkel says 6. Interesting. Either way, the difference is marginal. Um, 
you're not going to make that much money trading that little cargo, but it is nice to trade small amounts of cargo at the beginning, so that way you can learn how to do it. But all the three ships allow you to do that. So that's the Origin 100 series. They are an excellent series of starter ships. Uh, they're a lot sleeker than the Aurora, so if, you got, if you're bored of flying around what looks like a uh, Ford pickup and you want to upgrade to a Mercedes in terms of looks but not necessarily functionality, this series is the way you want to go. Happy hunting.